First, import your photos into Premiere and drag them onto the timeline. Depending on the resolution of your photos, they will likely be bigger than the resolution of your sequence. So on the timeline, you first need to modify the size and position of your first photo. Once you've chosen that, right click on this first photo and select copy. Now select all of the photos in your timeline, right click and select paste attributes to copy these changes to every photo in the sequence. Next, to achieve the time lapse effect, you're going to need to change the duration of each photo to be one frame. Again, with all your photos selected, right click and select speed duration. Here, you can choose to make the duration of each photo one frame and ensure that the ripple edit tick box is on before you press OK. Your time lapse is now assembled, but it can be helpful to make it a nested sequence of organization and ease in the edit. To do this, make sure all your photos are selected, right click and select nest sequence and rename. With your time lapse nested, you can edit the whole sequence more easily, for example, working on the color using Lumetri, or you can use keyframes at the start and end of your sequence to create either a digital zoom in or zoom out. 